Hi, welcome to Splash and Go. I'm your host, Nate Ryan, here with Dale Jarrett. DJ, you were at Talladega Super Speedway this past weekend working for the Motor Racing Network, so I know you're very familiar with what was a very entertaining race there uh, this past Sunday. Interesting situation on the last lap for NASCAR. They had two separate incidents with uh, several cars crashing, but they elected to throw the caution for debris on the last lap. First question to you is, the, the first instance involved Ricky Stenhouse Jr. hitting the wall. Should NASCAR throw that caution when a car hits the wall head on like that full speed? Well, uh, Nate, I think that circumstances and the time of the race plays into the way that NASCAR handles these situations. And, and I like the way that NASCAR goes about this. They're trying to give the fans uh, a full finish and let the cars race back to the flag. Now, obviously, if what happened to Ricky Stenhouse happened in the middle of the race, the beginning of the race, then they're going to immediately throw the caution flag. Uh, but in, in knowing that the leaders have already crossed the line, and it's, if they elect right then to throw the caution, then the, the fans might be cheated out of an opportunity to see the cars race back uh, because you're still two and a half miles away, basically, right. uh, to, to make that happen. So I like the idea that they have the time to assess what's going on. Is there any chance that the 17 car was going to be able to pull out of the way a little bit more? And is the track completely clear? Now, what did happen in this case was they allowed them to race as they were looking at this situation and then another incident happened and, and uh, tore up some other race cars. But they were trying to give uh, all the benefit and the opportunity for this race to finish under green conditions. So uh, I like the, the way that they go about it. They're never going to be in a perfect world situation because mm -hmm. there's always a decision that has to be made. But at that time, they had the time to make that decision, and I think they made the right call at the right time. You know, it's the second straight Talladega race, DJ, where there was an incident on the last lap the October race, Matt Benedetto, very similar situation, hits the wall head on. Mm -hmm. In that case, NASCAR uh, holstered the caution entirely, didn't mm -hmm. throw the yellow. Yeah. So d do you think that drivers and teams are watching that and are they saying, hey, maybe NASCAR is setting a precedent here? And, and are they okay with, as you said, weighing the dynamics of, hey, yes, we want to make things as safe as possible. We want to respond to the driver, but we also want to deliver fans an entertaining finish. Yeah, I think first and foremost, they have to understand that that obviously the fans are are the most important. Certainly, you don't want to put the drivers in any in harm's way at any point in time. And I think yesterday they saw that the 17 car was in a bad spot, and they were just giving him. 10, 15 seconds to see if he might possibly move that out of the way. Once they saw that, you know, the caution came out. It just so happened that it was in conjunction with right. everything that was going on <laughs> on the backstretch. I think last year was a little bit different when they allowed the racing to come on around. E even though uh, Matt DiBenedetto had hit the wall there, basically kind of at the same place or just past the start finish line, had continued on around and the cars were off the racetrack completely out of the way where the race was going to be finished and drivers were going to be slowing down before they got back that. So I think that if I were a driver, I would know that, okay, something may be happening, but we're going to try to race back and we're going to stay in the gas as long as we possibly can. And I think the teams are okay with that because they understand the reasoning and the importance of this. Now, the, the first incident on that last lap Sunday involved Ricky Stenhouse Jr. hitting the wall. Then, as you mentioned, DJ, a, a few other cars get involved. Kyle Larson being the most notable. Mm -hmm. He uh, gets airborne as his Chevrolet turns sideways without any contact from anyone. NASCAR said after the race they are going to investigate that. Anything you saw there that potentially uh, could be alarming in any way? I know there was a lot of talk going into this race about the new rules package, closing rates, speeds being a lot higher, and drivers potentially worried about uh, cars going airborne. You know, I, I think this is a one racetrack situation, and so obviously it's an important race that will be coming up in October uh, that will be in the playoffs, and, and you still have going to have 40 cars and drivers there. So. Now, you, you can't plan for everything. Even though you think that you are, you make these rules and you change these rules, but trying to, to cover every scenario, uh, Ryan Newman brought up about he thought that there was that possibility, and I know that that had a lot to do with the spoiler, the wicker, and, and everything combined there. Mm -hmm. and, and you saw this car, uh, the right side tires get off the ground uh, almost as soon as that car started sideways and got away from the other cars. So this is something NASCAR will address. Uh, it needs to be addressed. I don't know 
what the answer would be right. other than slowing them down just a little bit more possibly. Uh, but the fans, I think, kind of like the speed uh, that they're going now. The drivers like that speed. They put on a tremendous show. Uh, but they will investigate and try to find a, a solution for this because it is of utmost importance to keep them on the right. ground. But the main takeaway, I think, is the show. that yes. With the new rules, they did get the kind of racing that was missing maybe the last trip to Talladega in terms of the draft. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, they Even making changes on Friday afternoon between the mm -hmm. two practice sessions of putting the wicker uh, across the spoiler there. So NASCAR was doing everything that they could for the competition side of it and hoping that this type of situation uh, didn't show up at any point in time. But it did. And fortunately for everyone, everyone was okay. Yep. That is good news. We'll keep an eye on what NASCAR does in the future there. Uh, lots to talk about from that race Sunday. If you like talking about it, we've got Motor Mouths, NASCAR America's Wednesday show, 5 p.m. Eastern on NBCSN. Be sure to tune into that. Thanks for watching. Splash and go. Hey Motorsports fans, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe before you go for all the latest news and highlights across motorsports.